Sussex extremely awful. Has blown away with anger over integrity row at risk of turned away by US. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been urged to step up to the plate and show integrity in order to win over supporters in the US. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been urged to step up to the plate and show integrity after the Duke and Duchess released a statement on the Spotify and Joe Rogan row, expressing their concerns at the spread of misinformation surrounding COVID. Meghan and Harry signed an £18 million deal with Spotify to create the Archul Audio podcast but did not release any content in 2021. Broadcaster Angela Epstein told Jeremy Vine, We're talking about them but are we listening to them? We talk about them but we listen to them. Guest Henry Bonsu jumped in with, Maybe at the time, you know, Spotify signed the contract or did the deal with them Harry and Meghan were kind of the number one trading story in the world and they thought we'll have some of that. And of course, it's gone quiet since. Jeremy Vine added, they've done no content in 2021. So but I mean, presumably they have been paid already, I don't know whether they got the money and this is piling up interest. He continued, I wouldn't want to be the Spotify person who has to ring them. Ms. Epstein argued, but also if they want to be influential figures, they have to show that they have integrity. And if they are coming out and speaking out against Joe Rogan or what they perceive to be misinformation, then they have to step up to the plate and prove that's their position. It comes after a spokesperson for the couple weighed in on the Spotify controversy. Meghan and Harry's statement read, We have continued to express our concerns to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis. The statement saw online searches for Meghan and Harry podcast skyrocket to over twice the average volume in the past week, according to research commissioned by furniture outlet Bed Kingdom. A spokesperson for Bed Kingdom commented on the findings, ever since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from working royal life, they have been incredibly selective about the statements they make and what they choose to share with the public. However, these findings highlight the couple's enduring passion to speak out against the wrongdoings they see around them, in an effort to make the world a better place. Their passion project, the Archul Foundation and subsequently Archul Audio can be expected to demonstrate the values and principles that Meghan and Harry share. This enormous rise in search volume for the podcast emphasizes the excitement that royal fans have for its eventual release and the chance to hear more from the Duke and Duchess. Meghan Markle Prince Harry has reportedly started feeling lonely after his commitment to Meghan Markle left him miles away from the royal family. This claim has been made by the CEO of Republic, Graham Smith during his interview with Express UK. He started off by commenting on Prince Harry's easy, cushy life in the UK, a life where he could do whatever he wants. Given the privilege, Mr Smith added how I suspect he misses some of it. Despite having it all get stripped away must be quite the wrench. I think that, from what I gather, he and Meghan seem very much committed to each other and supportive of each other. For those unversed, Prince Harry was forced to part ways with a number of military privileges that were close to his heart. All in an attempt to get a one-way ticket across the Atlantic. Apart from the things Prince Harry was forced to leave behind, experts believe the emotional ties were the hardest to distance himself from. Prince Harry himself gave birth to these speculations following his bombshell interview with Oprah where he admitted, there's a lot to work through there. I feel really let down, 